get this out of the way, my name's Paul Sin. I'm a British Asian man, I'm a qualified doctor, I'm an openly gay man, but the proudest aspect of a life, I am the United Kingdom's 23rd ranked quizzer. Oh yes, living the dream. Thank you for that, madam. It has been an amazing adventure about all kinds of people, from civil servants to retired civil servants. It's been a very exciting experience. But I've got to say, it's not a bad life being the only openly gay British Asian qualified doctor and competitive quizzer on the British comedy scene. You tick as many boxes as I do, the press starts sniffing around. And, just, and I've got to say this now, I understand their curiosity. I mean, I'm not the... Uh, I'm not the best known gay Asian man in this country, but I am the best known that didn't have his newlywed bride murdered on a honeymoon in South Africa. So I understand, so I understand, I understand. I've checked, by the way, that joke's fine, I've checked. He's, he's as guilty as fuck. I, I'm, I'm, I'm very much the huggy bear of gay Asians. So I understand, I understand, I understand the curiosity. What I don't understand is why they all ask the same lame question. What's it like being gay? What's it like being gay and Asian? What's it like being a gay Asian doctor? What's it like being a gay Asian doctor comedian? What's it like being a gay Asian doctor comedian and competitive quizzer? And then, the obsession with my parents. Are they proud that you're a doctor? Are they proud that you're a comedian? Do they know that you're gay? Do they know that you're Asian? Again, and again, and again, I must thank the Croydon advertiser for that absolute gem of a question. But the flip side, the flip side is this, because of all these demographics, these boxes I take, I'm expected to talk about stuff, have opinions on the big issues of the day. It's my fault really, it all started in 2005 when I came out to my dad, came out of the closet, very dramatic moment for me, I don't know what I was expecting, but it was a mixture of devastation and rejection. He burst out laughing and now he's trying to arrange me a husband. Now, that's, that, that's the joke. And in 2006, I took that joke up to the Edinburgh Festival, along with a load of other stuff for an hour, blathered on about this and that. And you know what? For the first time in my life, I did well at comedy. I got reviewed by eight national newspapers, which was an odd moment for me, because before then, the only time I'd ever appeared in any kind of press was in 1985, when the South London Press ran a report about a 24-hour snooker marathon for charity that I had organised to raise money for a hospital for blind children in Calcutta. I call it a report, they call it an investigation. We'll just have to agree to differ there. <laughs>